if you are a hockey player or hockey family, there's one name that you've most likely heard of of late, which is Connor Bedard. Um, or maybe you've heard of the name Austin Matthews. And what I'm going to do is in this video break down kind of their shooting technique, which we've kind of dubbed the slingshot. And so, yeah, excuse the voiceover because my language or my headphones weren't working, but I'm walking through essentially this punch and then it's a bottom hand punch pull. So you can see I'm kind of slingshotting my stick through. Okay, and it looks like this full speed as I'm practicing it. So I'm gonna make it segmented. So I'm gonna punch and then flip. Punch. Now I start to do it full speed. And you can see it makes a slingshot motion. Now this is interesting and very counterintuitive in how I was shot growing up. We are always taught to lean, even get it to pause, to lean on my stick, to put this, to put downward pressure. Instead, if you see these guys, they're actually putting forward pressure. And a lot has to do with the fact that this is now the kick point of some sticks, right? So we have the, the mid kind of, you know, mid kick point, uh, kind of a hybrid, and then these low kick points, and then the blades are designed to flex. So with stick technology, the actual shooting pattern, and you can see like my wrist angle here, uh, is really shifted. And so again, how we've learned to shoot is different. So now I'm just doing a demonstration. And in this drill, to learn it, I'm gonna segment the movement. I'm actually taking my feet out of it, which makes it really challenging. Um, and what I'm gonna have to focus on is just the two hands, uh, one punching and then the punch pull. So here's what it looks like. I get my feet sh uh, shoulder width apart. I'm gonna punch and then whip. Punch, whip. And when you break this down, just from a technique side, notice, whoop, and pause. I actually have toe pressure right here and the heel of my stick is off the ground ever so slightly, okay? And now you can see these last ones. If you go back and watch, I'm not segmenting the movement now that I have it down. Now I'm just doing it in one fluid movement. So it's a, it's a punch and then a punch pull. Punch, punch pull. So now this next one, I do it all one speed, punch pull. Okay. And so if you're a hockey player, I challenge you to give this a shot. Um, work on the slingshot. Again, it's radically different than how I was brought up shooting where we were taught that the bottom hand is designed to push down. Instead, I'm pushing that hand forward and the stick is flexing because of the flex. So to switch all this, and I didn't cover it, I went down from 100 flex down to a uh, 85 flex. And that's, you know, again, 100 flex, I have to lean down into it to create that whip. At an 85 flex, the stick will naturally do it. And I would actually say that my shot is harder with less effort, which is a massive win.